Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this morning's event is actually at uh, about the three uh, leaders that uh, the ASEAN would be uh, in dialogue with. And let me begin by saying to you, Your Excellencies of ASEAN and the People's Republic of China, Japan, and the Republic of Korea. His Excellency Li Longming, Secretary General of ASEAN, ladies and gentlemen. It is my pleasure to welcome you all to Manila for the celebration of the 20th ASEAN Plus 3 Commemorative Summit. Special warm welcome, of course, to our newest member, President Moon Jae-in. Over the past two decades, our cooperation continued to flourish steadily among the Asian external partners cooperation. We owe a great measure of our success to our common bond and vision. But most of all, sharing common traits and values that are deeply embedded in our customs and traditions that help us develop a culture of tolerance and understanding among us providing space for positive dialogue. I urge my fellow leaders to continue nurturing peaceful coexistence, particularly within the ASEAN plus three, where we consider ourselves as one and a family. May I, uh, I thank the, you know, Mr. Uh, invite the Prime, the Premier of Li Keqiang of the People's Republic of China for his opening remarks. Then to be followed by the Prime Minister of Japan. <laughs> President Duterte, dear colleagues, I'm very pleased to attend the 20th APT Summit. On behalf of the Chinese government, I'd like to thank the Philippine government for your thoughtful arrangement for the summit. APT cooperation emerged when Asian countries jointly responded to the financial crisis. This year marks its 20th anniversary. 20 years ago, this mechanism played a vital role in responding to the financial crisis in Southeast Asia. We need to come forward this fine tradition. At the moment, the world economy is showing good momentum. The global trade and investment are increasing. China-Japan and China-Aoki relations are seeing signs of improvement. All these have presented new opportunities for APT cooperation. Meanwhile, we're still seeing a mixed picture of world economic recovery. Deglobalization and protectionism are under bias. Hotspot regional issues are emerging, and these have presented challenges to us. I hope that through this summit, we can build consensus and send a positive signal that we firmly support regional integration and advance East Asia Economic Community, or EAEC, so as to benefit the people and the country in the region. Thank you. Now may I invite uh, Prime Minister Abu to deliver this statement. You have the floor, uh, Your Excellency. I'm deeply grateful for the warm hospitality extended to me by President Duterte and the government of the Philippines. I'm honored to be able to participate in the ASEAN Plus 3 Summit as co-chair. This year is an important year being the 20th anniversary of the launch of the ASEAN Plus 3. The APT was established as a result of the 1997 Asian currency crisis, and since then, the scope of cooperation was broadened to include food security, energy, environment, and health, among others. I welcome the fact that this year the Manila de Declaration on the 20th anniversary of APT cooperation was agreed, and at the Foreign Minister's meeting in August, the APT cooperation work plan 2018 to 2022 was adopted. 
Thank you, Prime Minister Abe. Now may I call on President Moon Jae-in to deliver his opening remarks. President Duterte, colleagues, it is an honor to, to attend the ASEAN Plus 3 meeting as it celebrates uh, the 10th anniversary this year. I'm very happy to be attending here with uh, the ten ASEAN leaders, uh, Mr. Abe and then Premier Li Ko Chang. Uh, I'm delighted to share the vision of East Asia, vision of cooperation with the leaders. Uh, 20 years ago, we were hit hard by the Asian financial crisis, and we came together for the cooperation. To we felt that as a result of solidarity and cooperation that shined from the depths of the crisis, ASEAN, Korea, Japan, and China, the 13 countries have grown into economies that account for more than 30% of the global economy. Such a collective experience of overcoming the crisis remains a valuable heritage to us. Now, we must take ourselves to a new level to realize a cooperative mechanism that provides protections and care to the lives of our members in the region. In 1999, we have utilized the power of solidarity and overcame the financial crisis. Let us create a vision for the East Asian community of peace, prosperity, and progress. Let us overcome the complex challenges, including protectionist and self-centered approaches, polarization, aging, and climate change. I welcome the adoptions of the Manila Declaration, which proposed the future direction of ASEAN Plus 3 cooperation. I look forward to reaffirming and refining the visions of East Asian community and our resolve for cooperation within. Thank you. I now request the members of the media to kindly leave the room as we will discuss uh, expanded matters along this line. I just uh, would like to beg your indulgence uh, to allow the media time to make their exit.
Your Excellencies, let us now commence with our discussion on the review on future direction of CN Plus 3 cooperation. May I kindly invite uh, this time to speak first, not Minister, is not Prime working. Minister Abe of Japan for his omnibus intervention. You have the floor, Your Excellency. Uh, Minister Abe of Japan will have the floor. ツイスカラハニシュネを迎えたアセンプラスリチョークのますますの展示局のため日本が開発を行い新たな支援を組み合わせ現在世と言った over five years, approximately $200 billion will be provided by the public infrastructure sectors. In the provision of infrastructure, we will promote quality in the build of ensure and conformity with international standards, such as openness, transparency, economy, and ensuring fiscal soundness of the target nation. On TPP, an agreement between the ministers was confirmed in Danang. Japan will make positive contributions based on the high standard rules agreed at the TPP with a view to ensuring that the conclusion of the negotiations result in a high quality RCEP. For sustainable economic growth, it is also important to strengthen regional energy security, in particular to promote LNG use in Asia. We will be working on human resources development for introducing laws and institutions for LNG and public and private sector financial assistance of the order of $10 million. Environmental destruction accompanying economic development is of concern to the Japan ASEAN Environment Cooperation Initiative for the realization of sustainable cities. We will bring to bear area, among others, to build up high quality environment infrastructure. In the area of disaster risk reduction, we will contribute to the newly launched Southeast Asia Disaster Risk Insurance Facility. In connection with people to people, Connectivity, we launched the Innovative, Innovative Asia, Asia project this year through studies abroad and internship opportunities in Japan. Between Japan and ASEAN, we will engage in the development of advanced human resources and circulation of people. We will lead the ASEAN Plus 3 in higher education through the working group on higher education and ensuring quality insurance.